All right, guys, so right off the bat, here we are spectating Madara, and we're, of course, spectating quads. Now, I want everybody to realize one simple fact about Rebirth Island that I don't think many players understand. You actually respawn in this mode. But Savage, we know that. I know, but what you don't understand is with respawning means you can not be punished for being aggressive. Meaning you can actually go out there, fight some enemies, try to get a little bit better, try to improve your kill count, um, practice, that way you're better at winning games. I can understand uh, to an extent camping in Caldera or Verdance, I get it. 30 minute match, you don't want to waste it. If you die, you're dead, I get it. But again, dude, why not play just hyper aggressive in this mode? Practice your gun skill, practice your movement, and then get out there and just slap. You guys, if you guys continue, or not not you guys, but if, if newer players, body players, body players end up playing the same way for a year straight, they're going to continue being the same level skill. But if, if these guys that are camping and playing ratty and playing passive and not winning, not they're not winning games, they're not breaking PRs, they're not getting kills, like what's, what are they doing? They're just hindering their own gameplay. They're actually ruining their own time. So instead of just playing how you guys play, especially in Rebirth, get out there and do something different. Get a little aggressive. Drop control and try to work the movement. You'll get shit on. But don't be afraid to get shit on. Embrace the fact that you guys can actually excel and become a better player. Here we have an enemy uh, actually doming the shit out of us. I respect the re-challenge. I expect the challenge in general, but unfortunately the enemy was just holding the angle and you got the easy shot off. You're spectating Straw Hat. Hop in a reload mid fight when he should have just changed weapons and then not having audio and not realizing the enemy pushed the left hand side. Again, that fight there, I, we didn't know there was an enemy there because we just started spectating him, but he did. And instead of instead of just switching his weapon and pushing the fight, he got caught up reloading and then had to turn and run away and got shot in the back. Just just simple. Oh my, what the fuck was that? Just simply switching your weapon mid combat could literally save your life and get you more kills don't know why we didn't play that heady we definitely should have played that heady and killed that guy because he was out in the open we had a nice nice form of cover with that little ridge right there all right we're gonna move on from sh straw hat and straw hat awesome and straw hat they're all straw hats lit they definitely play like they have straw hats on they play like that. They're farmers that have never nothing against farmers. They're playing like farmers that have never touched video games before. A lot of zigzagging, not much going on. Lucifer going in with the kill. Hopefully, in a spectating. Never mind. There he goes, and he goes down as well. Again, the second time we spectated one of these teammates turn their back and run from the enemy instead of trying to play the cover. Meanwhile. What are you doing? They're targeting me. No shot, bro. Did they just, they just lost the game, huh? He just bled out. Moving on. Oh my, oh, 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 oh. I mean, rocking zero kills, but beaming the shit out of some enemies. Let's see if we expect somebody who... This is not looking good. Oh, fuck. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebirth Island. You have three types of players. You have the sweats that are absolutely nasty. There's nothing you can do against them. You have players like this that are playing the game but just not really doing a good job at it. Respect to you guys for that, by the way, especially compared to these, the third set of players. Then you have the rats. You have the rats. And I know everyone calls everyone rats because they just, they're not really clever with their shit talking guy on the rooftop. Um, but rats, what I consider rats, are teams of players camping in a room or a building, watching doorways, not moving, you know, just to catch you out as you're trying to rotate. Okay, look, look at D1 out here. Practice a little bit of movement. Only four kills, but still great display. A little 1v1 action right there at the end. Got to give you respect, homie. It's the best you've seen all video. And, and honestly, guys, the third set of players, the rats, they're the worst of all. 
that I would rather you guys be bots than ever rat it up. There's no reason to ever. I literally dropped down a hatch over here. I, I landed on the rooftop. I dropped down the hatch to get my loot. And uh, there were four players in those four corners and I just didn't stand a chance in hell. And they stayed there the whole game. They lost the game, but they fucked me up in the process. Speaking of a chemical, chemical getting a nice shot on your boy TTV. Now in Rebirth Island, one thing you gotta be aware of when you're playing is that you're gonna get shot from multiple angles, multiple directions. So as you're fighting enemies, the reason why movement is key in this map is because you're, you need to be aware of your surroundings. You've got to be aware that if you're fighting a team in front of you, you have to understand whether or not you have cover behind you. Cause if you don't and you get shot, you gotta have a plan in your head on how you're gonna break and where you're gonna break too. A lot of people, they just tunnel vision on the fight at hand and they don't, they don't see around them. Y'all, you, you almost have to have like a third eye when it comes. Oh yeah, you're, you, oh no, I don't want to touch you brother. Okay, we're moving on. To be real, I kind of missed the last squad. Respect, Tayton. V1's actually uh, not too bad. Let's go to V1. We're going for Lodi. Guys on the rooftop beaming the shit out of us. Got that Lodi fast, bro. If he's, he's aggressive, he'll put... Oh, great breakaway. Trying his best. Beautiful B-hop. Great job keeping that crosshair center on that enemy's head. As he's b-hop into greatness. I love that shit. Like I said, bro, this, this player's definitely not a bot. He's only got four kills, but he's putting on a great display of 1v1s. And again, instead of just challenging the enemy and fighting him out, he bounced away and re-challenged to hopefully break the enemy's camera, catch him off guard, whatever the case may be. Now, it was a ballsy challenge. I'd do it, but I don't recommend a lot of players do it. Um, but I loved it regardless. I definitely loved it. I'm telling you guys right now, bro, when... When Verdance was out. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the third type of players right there. See Nasty and, and Doodle Bob. All in different areas, standing on the hallway. Those are the guys. Those are rats. That's Don't don't be those guys. But I'll tell you guys, when Caldera was out, I mean, when Verdance was out, bro, I was semi-hyper aggressive. I, was very, I really wasn't aggressive. I was more of a support player, more of a ranged player. My PR, my PR was was pretty pretty good. Um, it was it's thirty four in Verdansk. Um, and my wins were really good, but I was a I was more of a win grinder, I should say, uh, than anything. I really wasn't that good at being hyper aggressive. I was not good in Verdansk at one v fours by any stretch of imagination. Um, one v threes, I yeah, it was okay. One v twos, I could hold my own, and one v ones, of course, I could hold my own. But the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because when Rebirth came out and Caldera came out. I started playing Rebirth a lot more. Started getting a lot more amps to practice my movement. Started to get a lot more amps to practice my accuracy, my close range fighting, which is something I lack at. Um, but I know my weaknesses and I try to practice it. And for a month straight, I played Rebirth. And then when I got tired of Rebirth, I started pushing everything in Caldera. I'm not a wind grinder anymore, but the reason I'm telling you guys this is I push everything in Caldera. If you watch my streams, I push it all. I will purposely put myself in bad situations so that when I die, I can hopefully not repeat that mistake and learn from it. Let's move on, bro. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Like I'm like this guy right here. He's always going to be this player. Those of you out there moving around, I don't care if you're bad or not. There's hope for you. This guy here, as long as he plays like this, there's not much hope for him. He may win this game. He may not. We don't know. But even if he does, he still has to live with the fact that he lays prone watching a doorway for five minutes at a time. And um, no matter what his stats say, he's not a good player. Players that do that, they're so focused on KD that they don't actually want to improve. They just want to get their KD up and plot twist guys. Even if you have a 3KD, there's a lot of players with 3KDs that are actually garbage. Um, we've seen it time and time and time again. Basically, this video is to hopefully amp you guys up to get out there and fight, man. Come on, bros. Let's do it. All right, here we have Taco Poppy Aluiso. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> rat. Watch out for something. There's another rat somewhere, right? There's got to be. Look at this build. Why are we? That's got to be someone else's gun. No way did he purposely build this. No way. 
Yeah, it was someone else. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, bro. I feel you, homie. Okay. Okay. You're making me nauseous. Calm down. Calm down, Poppy. Now, look. We still have a buy station in. So, I mean, if you want to go ahead and get some loot, I wouldn't be against that. See if you can go push some uh, enemies, get some kills. I don't know what we're scanning at. There's a sniper sitting over here at Chemical. You hear him popping off. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. What are we doing? You can re-challenge that, son. I would have re-challenged the fuck out of that. I definitely would have re-challenged that, bro. One, he had a satchel up there. You could have used that. Two, why didn't we re-challenge that? That enemy did not look like he was good. He was out in the open and he had delayed reaction. I would have beamed his shit in. Bull. <laughs> Lol. All right. Moving on. We got eight kills, one kill, 10 kills. There we go. Doodle Bob. Oh, these are the rats, bro. They're not ratting it up though. Maybe they just maybe they just caught your boy at a bad time. It is weird as soon as he turned, he instantly snapped on him. I don't think he's cheating. It could have just been a, a pre-fire. It was just the timing was impeccable. I don't I don't know. Mr. Krabs is left. Let's see who the fuck Kodak is. Oh, Kodak. Oh, Kodak, no, brother. Oh my gosh. It is a 2v1, although I do believe it's a 1v1, and now it's not looking good. This team may fucking throw because it's all in Kodak's hands. I cannot believe what we're about to witness right now. Mr. Krabs is going down. We have self. Gas is coming back. Let's see if he plays this. Nope. He did not. He's just gonna. The moment we spectated Mr. Krabs, dude, we knew what it was. I really, I didn't have a feeling that would happen. I'm gonna be honest, but I knew that if your boy died, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs is a good one. If Mr. Krabs died, Kodak would not be able to win his 1v1, and he didn't. Granted, it was the bow. Great job on the enemy right there. Um, but wow, they went from a 4v1v1 to a to a loss real quick. That was a hard throw. Now. Um, shout out to your boy Doobie or Doodle or whatever the fuck his name was. He did a decent job with his fights. Um, he just, again, when he tried around the corner, he even pre-looked at it, snapped on the enemy, but the enemy was just sitting there holding the angle and he got caught out. Again, guys, no matter what strategy you have, no matter how good you are, you will get caught up sometimes. Just, just wipe it off and try again. Um, but again, guys, again, the purpose of this video, dude, is to get you guys out there and play aggressive. I don't give a shit what your KD is. We make fun of players all the time, but again, it's for comedic purposes, bro. I, I really don't want anyone to feel like they're not a good player. There are, I'm not good compared to a lot of my peers. People are way better than me that I play with. Um, and the, and the, it's, it's, a, it's a chain reaction, bro. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the totem pole. There's always going to be somebody better than you, and there's always going to be somebody worse than you. But you should strive as a player and a first-person shooter in a competitive battle royale or even rebirth. You should strive to be better than you were yesterday. That goes with video games. That goes with life, guys. Get out there. Play. If you're tired of being where you're at in gaming, change it up. All right? Don't change the game unless you want to. Just change your play style. But I really hope you enjoyed the video, dudes. If you did, leave a like. Also, follow my links tree. All of my social medias, all my YouTube channels are sitting there uh, for you guys in one spot. And uh, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch as well. But guys, until next time, you have a good one. Get out there and get better, boys.